So thank you for subbing, Zara, right? Domidor. Domidor is, uh, well, let me just say, uh, Zar Wright, uh, according to his webpage, he's in the U.S. And um, Domidor is in Mexico, according to his profile page. You know, we, we, we all take that with a grain of salt. But he's got, uh, he's favorited a lot of um, oh, nice eclectic mix of George Carlin. Um, George Carlin again. Killer 7, it looks like some type of video game. Diary of a Dead Man. Think, your calculator is wrong. Um, and he's got a subscription to The Amazing Atheist, I see. I watched that one video by that guy, I don't know. I didn't think he was amazing. <laughs> and he also likes to watch Steph Bot, who I really don't care for, because he seems like he's uh, one of those, like, you know, motivated, you know, Dr. Phil wannabes. But that's all right. I guess he's harmless. But uh, I sub I commented on one of his videos, and it was just like this back and forth. Staff bot, it felt like I was talking with a robot. It was like, well, well, apparently you don't like the comment. Well, I was, <laughs> I wasn't getting anywhere with him. It's kind of like he's doing that sort of therapist thing. So like, so what do you think? <laughs> Tell me how you feel. <laughs> It's it's not good. It's not good having uh, getting into arguments with guys those guys, especially for someone. You know, anyway, enough about Steph Bot. But hey, Domador, I won't hold it against you if you like Steph Bot. So thank you for subbing, Domador. In case you don't know, Steph Bot is some yeah. He's some bald headed guy. Well, I'm not holding that against him. I'm losing my hair too. But he's a guy that does these. Oh, one thing he does, he makes his videos really long, and I'd like to know how he's allowed to do that. I want to know. I want to be able to do Fez Night without chopping it up. Wouldn't that be great? It would be easier on me, easier on you too, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, but he's like the Dr. Phil of YouTube. And, uh, and next is a Canadian. Um, well, or they're from Canada. It might be a group of people. The Real Sporadic Army. The Real Sporadica Army. And uh, they've got videos about a supercar. And uh, Corvette crashes into truck. Corvette crashes while racing Dodge Viper. Eh, I like that stuff now and then. I'll have to come back and look. Excuse me. He likes cars. Fatal crash on 140 west of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Ooh, I'll have to come back and look at that one. Well, no, I don't know. I hope it's not. I hope it's not bloody. Oh, it did say fatal. So, well, I'm curious. Hey, you know. I'm just as bad as the rest of them, you know, those people that slow down to look at a wreck. I try not to, though. I try to give them some dignity. Quick story. Once when I was riding the train to Santa Barbara, every time I rode Amtrak, I love the trains, but this, I haven't ridden in years, but always something would happen. And uh, one time I was riding the train up to Santa Barbara to visit my sister, and some guy was working over the track, fell onto the track, and the train ran over him and severed his foot. He was still alive. The guy just happened, when the train stopped, just happened to be lying right next to my window. And, and people were talking, and one woman was kind of freaking out, and I wasn't going to look outside. And people were just kept like buzzing around, buzzing, and finally I lost my temper and I said, look, because it kept kind of leaning over me to look, look out the window, and I said, look, you want me to stand up and get out of my seat so you can have a be better view? Fine. I got up out of my seat and I watched these ghouls line up to see the severed foot. <laughs> Human beings, I can't believe it. Now, not everybody did that. I mean, but of all people, the one person that didn't want to look is a guy that ends up with a seat next to the window. <laughs> that just popped in my head. <laughs> Ugh. Humans, humans, I tell you. Okay, so uh, thank you for subscribing, The Real Sporadic Army. And uh, it says, favorite people, Dunn, he is my favorite person. See, he's talking about people I don't even know. Don Vito, are these Canadians? Angry Ape? <laughs> Steve-O? I met him at the crosswalk? I don't know, is this Canadian stuff? I don't know. You wacky Canadians, you. 
You guys have a better health care system. I was watching somebody's video and they said, oh yeah, you ask any Canadian, you know, if they like their health care system, they'll say no. Hey, I beg to differ. I've met a Canadian or two that like their health care system compared to what they have here. So there you go. Anecdotal evidence. Cognitive dissonance. I love that screen name because that is a word that I like to use. I sort of have a vague grasp on what it means. <laughs> <laughs> they say it's like trying to have two counter-opposing ideas in your mind at the same time is, is, is a simple explanation of cognitive dissonance. And uh, so thank you for subbing cognitive dissonance. And uh, it says here, walking the earth in search of mostly water, wisdom, and work. References available upon request. If you are an American, I hope you will look at and comment on some of the videos in my U.S. government polis politics and vote fraud playlists. Peace. When the power of love overcomes the love of power, the world will know peace. By Jimi Hendrix. So I like, I like uh, cognitive dissonance. He's another thinker. I like that. And his politics. Uh, talk about voter fraud, man. There's some crazy stuff going on with these, uh, with these uh, uh, computerized voting machines and stuff. They try to get rid of the hanging chad. But, um, you know... Anyway, it's, it's a complicated mess and all these different stories, but, but big money is involved there somewhere. And a lot, of, a lot of people that donate a lot of money to the Republican Party are some of the companies that got behind some of these automated voting systems or, or computerized. So, might make a good topic for, for, for myself someday or somebody else. I don't know. Frankly, it's just too damn complicated. <laughs> All right, thank you for subbing Cognitive Dissonance. The American Suit. Now, what could this be? The American Suit. Um, he's got favorites. Uh, bullshit PETA. I'll have to look at that. Penn and Teller, The Bible is Bullshit. Tom Cruise Scares Me. What is your favorite Bible verse? Atheist. Oh, okay, so he has sort of like, I think, like sort of belief, non-belief leanings. And, uh, uh, you know you live in 2008 when you go to a party, sit down, and make MySpace pics. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> I don't go to parties anymore. Oi, you haven't played solitaire with real cards in years. I hate solitaire. The reason for not staying in touch with your friends is that they don't have an AIM, MSN, Facebook, or YouTube LOL, okay? You'd rather look all over the house for the remote instead of just pushing the button on the TV. Yeah, that's me. Your evening activity is sitting at the computer. That's me again. Um, you read this list and keep nodding and smiling. <laughs> you think about how stupid you are for reading this. <laughs> You're too busy to notice number five. What was that? There is no number five. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. Yeah, there is no number five. Oh, you're tricky. You were too busy to know. Uh, you, you actually scroll back to check if there was a number five, and now you're laughing at your stupidity. Put this in your profile if you fell for it. You know you did. Ryan. Yes, I fell for it. Citizen Kong did. Right in front of everybody on a Fez night. So cheers, the American suit. Ryan, thank you for subbing. And according to his profile page, he is an American. <laughs> 